morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today we are doing something a little bit fun, a different sort of granny square, but we're actually doing two, two versions so that you have more options um, to work with and create cool projects. This one is um, a skeleton head skull kind of looks like um the little jack guy from nightmare before christmas so there is that and then we so this is actually done the middle part is a circle and then it turns into a square so we're doing that one and then i will very quickly show you an alternative to that which is just a square version so that you can make um you know, a variation of that and make all sorts of different types. So this one again is the circle. And then I just, you know, sewed in um, a little spiral to make it look a little bit different. Um, this again is just the circle on its own with, that's turned into a square. And so, yeah, there are different versions to that. And the reason why I'm showing you these two versions is because in the next tutorial we are going to turn this all into a bag and so I'm going to put a picture up on the screen just to show you just kind of the layout so if you have that ready or that's just an example of something that you can do then um, we can work with that also I have a tutorial from last year um that was around this time of year it was one of my first tutorials and I was probably worse than I am now <laughs> but uh, it was a skull and you can use that as well if that's an alternative um, so I'll link to that some way somehow so that it's maybe in the description or put it on the screen so you can find it uh, I'll figure that out um, and yeah, so we're going to work on the two projects. Um, I will, oh, you'll need scissors and yarn. You'll probably, if you're doing this one, you'll need, you can use whatever color as the background. I used black. I'll use a different color in the tutorial just to show you, um, so that it's easier to see as well. But, uh, I used white. Um, this is... You can use whatever you want. You can use merino, you can use acrylic, you can use cotton, whatever. If you want something really stiff, cotton is usually good for that. And um, so you'll need white or something that's gonna contrast with the background color. Um, and for this, I'm just gonna use some of the, my leftover um, John Blank um, colorway from my shop. And it's got kind of an orange and yellow and gray and white look to it. So it's going to look really cool um, as a variegated look. But if you are interested, obviously uh, you don't have to. But this is um, a new colorway that is a limited edition from my shop. And it's called Drago Lantern. And it's based on... It's got this cool black and orange with a little bit of gold, and it's based on um, this medieval dragon. Uh, it's kind of inspired by that. And it comes with a little mini skein that matches the smoky gunmetal blue head um, and body. So there is that if you want um, to make your project or different projects with. Or I also have, I know, I'm just like plugging my stuff. Uh, this is the new colorway from Republic of Yarnia, and that is based on this gorgeous figure. This is Alessandro de Medici, and he was a black Florentine ruler um, from the Medici line. And so, yes, this is the new colorway. It's introduced here. You're the first ones that are looking at this. Isn't that amazing? So you can pair him up with, um, I have the burnt orange here, which is really good for the Halloween spooky season. 
or you can match it up with this beautiful silver or the darker silver. Ooh, look at all that. Okay, so I will stop plugging my stuff and get on with the tutorial for you. Um, so you, we have all of our, uh, we have most of our things. So we need, yes, the scissors, the yarn, and also you are going to need a sewing needle here. Um, one that's nice and, and large enough for a, uh, for thicker yarn. And then for this project, I used a four millimeter hook and a 4.5, but you can obviously use whatever, um, whatever hooks correspond with your yarn. And yeah, you can just adapt this to whatever size of project you want to, to create. So let me move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see. We are going to start with um, this guy here. So let's start with that. And also, yes, like I said, we're going to do a bag next week um, or in the next episode or tutorial, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can also adapt that. So it's not, you know, this season, it can be for... Um, the holiday season, it can be for spring and summer. It's just something cute and fun. Uh, and it's a great little gift as well. So we are going to start with this circle. And what we're doing here is we're going to make this slightly smaller than the circle that is made in the granny square. And you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do is start with the smaller hook. And for me, that's the four millimeter hook. And you are going to, oh, I think this is where I'm supposed to say, if you like this content, you can hit a like and subscribe. And if you don't like the content, then don't do that. Okay, <laughs> so that's out of the way. Let's do the magic ring here. Now, if you don't know, if you're not comfortable with a magic loop, or ring, uh, which is basically just uh, wrapping it around, as you can see, the fingers like that, and taking your hook and pulling up a loop. So if you can't do that, you can start with uh, just chain four. And when you chain four, I'll just show you very quickly, one, two, three, four, then just go back into this first chain that you made here and do a slip stitch. And then that will create your little circle. But for those who are comfortable with the magic loop, let's do that because it creates a little bit of a tighter circle um, and a cleaner circle. So once we've pulled up this loop here, we are going to chain three. So one, two, three. And then we are going to, we're going to do eight double crochets into this ring. So that is a yarn over and pull up that loop and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two. And so you do that eight times. This chain three doesn't count as a stitch. So just do that all the way around. So that's one, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, and just make sure that your loop is, or your end is there, and you've got room to finish off. 
once you have eight like that you just pull your loop nice and tight and that is the end of that so then you are going to slip stitch into the very top chain okay and that is the end of round one for the circle that you're creating so then you're going to chain two one two and into so you're going to skip this gap here and count one two three four five six seven eight right so around this um second stitch here so just kind of ignore that one you're going to do another into that stitch you're doing two double crochets and you're going to do two double crochets all the way around those eight stitches and that is going to give you 16 stitches all the way around so if you just continue to do that all the way around i will meet you when you are done all 16 and if you've lost count then i will be quiet and um just count so it's always two stitches in each one okay once you have all 16 stitches you're going to slip stitch into you'll probably have a, a space here and you'll be like did i miss something no you didn't you're fine so just go into the top of that chain two space that you or chain two that you made four and you slip stitch into that and that is going to close it up it's going to it might kind of curl up a little bit don't worry don't worry about that you're fine so now we're working on the third and final round um, for this circle so you're going to chain two and into okay there's the chain two and the stitch here go into the next one just always make sure that there's that that gap in between there into the next one you're doing two half double crochets so you yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three on your hook and do that again into the same space and that's your half two half double crochets and you're going to do that all the way around until you have 32 stitches so um i will leave you to that and then meet you at the end when you have 32 so when you have reached the end here you'll notice that there is this gap here and that one if you've counted correctly you should have two um, two more in those in, in that space in that last stitch and that will give you 32 and then into the top of your chain two you just slip stitch and that is your skeleton head or skull head so you just um cut the yarn there and fasten this off so you just pull the yarn through just like that and then you can sew in the ends or because this is actually being sewn onto the back of this um, you might get away with just tucking that in and then it will go around um, another option if you haven't cut it yet is to cut a longer piece um, cut cut it around as long as a ruler so 30 centimeters or 40 centimeters long and then that way you won't have to attach a piece when you are sewing it on um if this makes no sense to you don't worry about it just <laughs> carry on and cut it short or like i said just cut a longer piece and then we're going to stitch it around here okay so let us get on with this and do the square that starts out as a circle so it starts out exactly the same way that you did this but the only thing is we're going to level up and we're going to use we're going to switch to our larger hook 
and for this yarn I'm using again just the this is merino it's sparkly too because we like pretty yarn in Yarnia so if you remember just do your magic ring or your chain four set and focus there and pull up a loop and you can chain three and then eight double crochets all the way around two three four five six seven eight now if it's if i'm going a little bit faster for you just pause don't don't mind me i'm just going through this a little bit faster because it's just repeating what we have done before um the only difference is this is all double crochet. There's no half double crochets. So that's how it gets a little bit larger than the circle that we made. So we've slip stitched into the top. Then you chain two and into the next stitch, you're doing two double crochets. So you're going to, whoops, don't let it slip out like I just did. Um, so you two double crochets in each stitch around and that's going to give you 16 stitches so I will leave you to that and I'll be quiet so just to clarify here um, you'll see your chain two that you started with. So into the stitch before that, you'll probably need to do two double crochets as well to give you 16. So you're not counting wrong, don't worry. Um, and that should give you a nice circle. So once you've done that, just slip stitch into the top stitch. And that's your chain two from the previous row. And then the final row, well, final of the circle part of this square is chain two again. And into the next stitch, you're doing two double crochets and you're doing that all the way around. So you'll have 32. So I will, I trust you to do that on your own. And, uh, just keep counting if if you get lost then just count and you'll be fine so I'll meet you back at the end here okay so when you are done that um, if you are concerned about your circle into this chain two space that is where you do or not into the chain two space, but the stitch below it, that is where you do your final two double crochets. And then you will slip stitch into the top of the chain two, just like that. And that is your nice circle. That's your, um, where you're going to place your skeleton head. Okay, now we are going on to round four we're going to chain three and from now on all of the chain threes count as uh, a double crochet okay so and, and also a level up that's why you've done a chain three so into the next so here's your chain three if you can see that and it's attached just kind of pull at it into the next stitch you're going to do two double crochets and chain two and then into that same stitch you're doing two more double crochets 
And that's going to be the corner as we turn this into a square. And then into the next stitch, we're doing a one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, one double crochet. And then to the next three stitches, do a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over, pull to row three. So just like that, you'll have three. And then into the next stitch, do a double crochet. Into the next stitch, a double crochet. And then that brings us to our next stitch, which will be our corner. So that one is two double crochets into the same stitch. Chain two. And two more double crochets into that stitch. Okay. Then you are going to do a, into the next stitch, a double crochet, into the next stitch, a double crochet, and into the next three stitches, a half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, and then into the next two stitches, a double crochet in each stitch. Just like that. And that brings us to the next corner. So into that stitch, it's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, see we've got three corners now, we've got one more corner to do. So into the next stitch, it's a double crochet, into the next stitch, double crochet, into the next three stitches, it's a half double crochet in each stitch. Into the next two stitches, it's a double crochet in each. And then that brings us to our final corner. So we do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Almost done. Um, into the next stitch, we're doing a double crochet. Into the next stitch, a double crochet. Into the next three stitches, a half double. And then you'll see here that there is a stitch attached to this chain three into that one here is where you do your final double crochet. And like I said, this chain counts as a double crochet. So you're going to slip stitch into the top of that. Just like that. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then chain three. And this is the start of row around five. So for row five, we have chained three. And um, we've already made it to the corner here. So we're going to create the same corner. Um, so you do a two double crochets 
chain two, two double crochets into that chain two space. And just to let you all know, from here on in, it's only double crochets. You don't have to worry about any other stitch. Unless you want to adapt it and make it fancy. But this is the basic one. Okay, so we've done the corner. So always check and kind of tug here um, when you see that you've done the the corner here there will be a stitch that's kind of hidden all the time so that always counts make sure that you're tugging and seeing that stitch then it's not hidden so into that you do a double crochet and you're going to do double crochets all the way across and all the way across that means you're doing 11 double crochets so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and that's going to bring you to the next corner so it's the same the same deal so it's two double crochets chain two two double crochets into that chain two space and once you've done that like i said always make sure that you can see that little hidden um, stitch there and it's 11 all the way across so keep doing that and then I will meet you back when you're done uh, row five okay so um, to complete uh, round or row five one two three four five you'll see here that it might look like you don't have enough stitches uh, to work into when you've done nine but there is remember that final one at the bottom of your chain two and that's where you work your tenth stitch and then the chain two counts as um, the eleventh stitch here and then you will slip stitch into the top of that chain two and then slip stitch into the next two just like that chain three and then you are already into the corner so you do your corner as normal that is two double crochets chain two two double crochets and like i've said before make sure that you're looking into that sneaky little stitch here that likes to hide and you're doing you will do a double crochet into that and you'll do double crochets all the way across so you'll have 15 in this row and then your corner and then 15 corner 15 corner and then 15 but make sure that you count this double crochet or sorry <laughs> this chain uh, three here as a uh, double crochet so you're actually doing 14 um, and you will have these two slip stitches that you've done here those are where you do your last two so don't worry about that um, and that creates your square I will leave you to that and then meet you back here um, and just explain something very quickly okay so that is our square done with a circle in the middle um, and like I said you just to do your final two double crochets into the slip stitches that you did um, you end in the bottom here of your chain three and then you just slip stitch into the top now if you wanted to make a larger project if you're working on something bigger or just wanted a bigger border 
um, then you just continue the same way and so you'll slip stitch twice and then chain three and then work into the corner and go across and then each row that you around that you are working on to grow this project you will add four stitches so we had done 15 so the next row would actually have 19 and then 23 and then 27 and 31 so it's it's that's how it grows so just do the math that way and always add four um, to each uh, new row um, as you go across so for us though we are done this uh, turned out really pretty. If you are doing a project that isn't seasonal and you just wanted to make a blanket or something, you know, this merino is super soft or uh, you can use any kind of wool or, or um, whatever, whatever you want, I guess. So just finish off your square like that. Um, uh, if you wanted, like I said, with the variegated or with even a solid color, you can do a, a border with a different color, uh, which gives it a like a really striking look. Um, and this one, I'm just making it kind of Halloween-y, so that's why it looks like this. But yeah, so um, just to add the face onto it, I'm going to switch and use the black one here. <laughs> just because that will show the contrast a little bit better. So get your needle here, and I'm going to use um, black yarn just to, to do the face. Um, but obviously use whatever your heart desires, whatever your creative juices um, tell you to do. Uh, whatever inspires you okay so to do the eyes we are going to actually the trick to this is you usually start your because we're, we're just doing chains you usually start near the end of your yarn let me just move that out of the way so you can see usually start you know near the end we're not doing that so you're going to leave about a four inches or maybe a little bit more six inches of yarn and start in the middle and do um, a slip knot in the middle so you have a long tail like that and then you're going to chain six so one two three, four, five, six. And once you have that, you will slip stitch into the first chain that you made. This is very slippery. <laughs> okay, there, just like that. So you have a little circle. Now what you do is you take your scissors and you cut your yarn sort of the same length as the other um, the, the other tail that you made and then you do um, what you do is just fasten off so you pull your yarn through that and let it knot there's also a hair in here there hair everywhere that's part of the love that you put into your projects, right? Your hair. <laughs> okay, so you're going to make two of these. And all it is is two um, chain sixes turned into little circles and with long tails. So you just have them like that. Um, so what you're going to do is just put the just kind of thread that through one strand of your one tail I guess and then just line this up wherever you want the eyes to be so just eyeball it 
like that. And then once you've done that, pull your yarn through like that and into the back you can sort of don't go all the way through again but into the back you can kind of weave that in to some of the stitches because all of this is going to be hidden um, when you stitch this onto your uh, square anyways right so just line that up where you want it and leave it kind of like that and then take the other side the other tail so you just weave that through and then line up your eye ball wherever you want it so i i put mine a little bit higher and just pull that through just like that now what you're going to have to do because it's it's going to flip up here probably is turn it over and sort of stitch through that so that you connect the um this area of the eye so that it stays kind of flat and firm in there and so just kind of reaffirm re it <laughs> reattach it secure it that's the word secure it into the onto the skull and if you want a little bit of the middle to show then you can always kind of st stitch it in as well by going through the middle and then coming out through the top um, so you can do a lot with it uh, so you'll see the little eye in there and once you are done that you can flip it over and sort of weave this end in as well don't go through all don't go through the front but just in the back here if you just kind of weave it in and out like that of the yarn stitches in the back pull that through and to fasten it off you can actually tie it in a knot so that it doesn't undo like that so you just tie it in a knot and then cut it off just like that so that's one eye do the other one the same way and then we will work on the mouth okay so once you have your eyes your spooky eyes um securely fastened on to your skull little skull um, then you take about a, I'm going to say about a 15 inches of yarn for the mouth. And you're just going to work your way and stitch a smile across here. Um, so you just take your yarn and if you know how to knot it, then you knot one end. Um, a very quick way that I learned as a, a child <laughs> is to take your yarn, wrap it around your finger, and then kind of rub it, roll it together, and it gets kind of knotty, and then pull it tight, and that creates a knot. And nobody's going to see that in the back, so it doesn't have to be super neat as well. So that's a trick, but do it whatever way is easiest and best for you so just weave your um or i guess just sew your mouth on you can just eyeball it and you know line it up either with the circle or just kind of go across with a straight line it depends on 
whatever you're feeling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so just go with it. So just pull your yarn through just like that. And then go in and out like that. And then continue. So I'm going to line it up kind of here and then go backwards. And that's how I'm going to do that bit. So if you just continue that way and I don't know if you want to see this, it's kind of boring. So just continue along, make it your own, just like that. And then what you're going to do, oh, one tip is to make your mouth, make the mouth, not your mouth, but this mouth a little bit longer because it just gives him a little bit extra creepiness <laughs> and uh yeah it doesn't matter how how you do that and it doesn't matter how straight it is because his he's gonna get little kind of stitches across so once you do that just go work your way backwards um, basically horizontally now so up and down and go across and that's going to give him the the look that he has where his oh that was kind of a long one now if you make a mistake like i just did go straight back into it and that rewinds it look at that magic and yeah so i won't go as long as i did there so he still looks kind of it's okay if he looks stitched because he's supposed to that's the joy of this kind of project so yeah just keep going you can make them kind of crooked as well because that makes them really look like he's handmade kind of like that right so just keep going across working your way back and forth just like that and then when you're happy with what you've created I'm gonna add a little bit more here just like that so once you've done that you are going to so find if you want, you don't have to do a, a nose like this, but I did because I think, I think his name, the character's name is Jack Skeleton, something like that. Um, yeah, he has a little, he has a, a thin little, he has nostrils, basically. So into the center here, I just went in at an angle and went into the center like that. And what I did was pulled it quite tight so that it was small. So it's, it's quite a thin nostril, so it doesn't stand out as much. And then I just did the same thing on the other side. And went in like that. And those are his nostrils. So there, that is the... The face all done so what you do is you turn it around weave this into the back and knot it make sure that you're um, keeping everything clean on the other side and I also weaved in the white uh, center I did that earlier. I cheated. I know. So um, once you've done that, just cut that off. And then finally, I know you guys have been at this a while. So we're going to take 
this and the trick to this if you're doing the bag with me in the next um, tutorial you're going to want to align the skeletons or the, the skull um, make the square a diamond and center his face in like that so don't put it square like that make sure that he, it's a diamond shape and that his chin i guess is aligned with the diamond okay now finally you just knot this uh yarn your white yarn or whatever yarn you used for the face and again if you left a long tail in my confusing explanation <laughs> near the beginning and you have a long tail then you just attach your needle to that or if you're attaching a fresh piece like i am um this is what we're doing so just get your your yarn ready have your knot at the bottom and then you're going to go into so just pull up go into the back spaces of these stitches that have created the circle and into those you're just um you're basically sewing but go underneath don't go this way or too close to, even close to the edge of your circle go kind of underneath so that it stays hidden and just line it up and go all the way around and go into each stitch just like that and that is how you stitch that on so I'll leave you to that to go all the way around and then I'll meet you at the very end just to celebrate together okay so we are done yes um now one thing that i will say if you want the back side of this to be say you're doing a blanket or something and you want the back side to be clear make sure that you're not going through the, the second layer of the yarn um, so just do all of your stitching and make sure that it's on sort of a clean top look if you're a beginner and you don't care and you're gonna cover up the back or you're not too worried about that then you can do it this way and that's fine too so i did that both ways just to show you if you're what whatever level of crocheting you're at or stitching as well so those are done now i promised you a second square um, that is basically just the square version of this instead of the circle and so if you don't want to learn this then you're done you're free go um, make beautiful things be blessed and uh, if you want to stick around for the bonus little square then do that now and you can see the different colors that we've made here and those are, are going to be part of the um, bag that we're creating so uh, same way that you did your circle <laughs> your circle square you're going to do this square square um, and so with this too uh, once you get the hang of it you're just going to if you want to make it you know with, with variations of colors then you just swap them in and out and don't cut them off uh, so that you will start with black but leave the black tail and then add a different color and then you will switch to your black again don't cut off the other colors and so on and so forth okay so just take your let me move these out of the way so you can see um actually i'll leave that one so you can see the brightness 
what we're doing. So again, take your four and a half millimeter hook, so your big one, and then do your magic loop or your chain four, and then uh, so do do your magic loop. But if you can't do a magic loop, loop, then you do a chain four and then slip stitch into the first chain to create a circle. Um, for this, we are chaining three and then into the loop, we are doing a double crochet and then you're going to chain two and then you're going to do three double crochets. Chain two. Oh, I did two double crochets. <laughs> so let me do the third one. Then you do, yeah, a chain two. I think that's probably hard for you to see. Camera's not focusing. Then do chain uh, three double crochets again. So one. Two, three, then chain two again, and then three more double crochets. Chain two. And then one double crochet. And then pull your circle tight. And into the top of your chain three, you are going to do a slip stitch. So you just slip stitch into that and you have already made a little square. So um, what you do is slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain three And then you, that takes you to the chain two space already, which is your corner, and you're going to do a corner. So you do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then across here, um, make sure, remember that secret. The tip is to pull that work apart here and make sure that you can see that hidden stitch. So you're doing three double crochets across. One, two, three. That brings you to the corner again. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into that corner space. And then it's three double crochets across. That next corner is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Then three double crochets across. Then two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into the corner. As my yarn rolls across the screen.
and then you do a double crochet into that space that might be hiding do one more double crochet and that chain two space or chain three space counts as your double crochet so just slip stitch into the top of that and your square is growing so for round three we are going to slip stitch into that next stitch chain three one two three that has brought us to the corner already so just do your two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then across here you're going to do seven stitches so into the first hidden stitch then the second one third fourth fifth sixth seven so do that and then that will bring you to the next corner which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then across the next side it's seven double crochets again so just continue that all the way around until you get to the end here and remember your double your your chain three counts as your double crochet so i'll meet you back here uh, when you are done round three okay so this is um the this is round three that we've just completed and make sure that you do go into that bottom stitch here that's connected to the chain three and then you just slip stitch into the top of that chain three just like that and then you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches and then chain three again and this starts round four and we're already at a corner so we do the usual corner which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then into the next um, 11 stitches you do a single or sorry you do a double crochet into each stitch so you'll have 11 all the way across so make sure that you tug into the that corner space and you get that stitch make sure that you're counting that one and then keep going across the next 10 so you'll have 11 in total and you just continue along all the way around that way so once you have your 11 here let me just get you to the corner once you get to the corner you do your two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then that takes you to the next side which is 11 double crochets across again so continue along that way for round four and then i will meet you back for round five now if you're switching colors at any point remember just as you do your chain up um, that's where you switch your colors okay okay so Remember to go into final 
stitch here which is actually a, uh, the slip stitch from the last row and then you will count this double or this chain three space as your or chain three <laughs> as your as a double crochet so then you just slip stitch into the top of into the top of that one and that is the end of row four and this will be our final row um, for this project but obviously if you want to make your your project bigger then you just continue um, and increase by four stitches across each time um, so we are going to again you slip stitch into the two stitches and then chain three and then that brings you to the corner where you do your corner which is again repeat it with me two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then across here and across each of the sides you do 15 double crochets so you do that and then i will meet you at the very end and then we will say goodbye to each other and uh, I'll show you how to stitch this all up into a cute little bag in the next tutorial. Okay, so this is what the square looks like when it's all a square. To finish it off, you just slip stitch and then cut a little piece and pull that loop through. Just like that. And there is your square that is a square and this one that we did earlier is started out as a circle and that turns into a square so you can use these for so many different projects and grow them if you want you can make blankets and pillows and and tops and skirts and whatever um, but next um, tutorial we're making a bag so I am just going to, uh, at the end of this, I will just show you the layout. So if you want to work ahead and get all that ready, or if you want to create your own different design, that's cool too. And um, we will work with whatever creative things you want to do. Um, so that this is basically what... I'm going to be working with next time but again just uh, be creative and make them you can even make these into little spider webs um, I just wanted to make it a little you know uh, wacky that way <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's it for now this is hopefully this was helpful that you got two for one this week. I'm sorry I kept you so long, but uh, thanks for sticking it out if you are still here. And if you aren't, then I won't know and you missed out. So um, I guess we'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Um, take time out for yourself um, and be good to yourselves and to other people.